Like, just compare this. Alright, keep this in mind, right? And then compare this to this. Just no. This is a big no. Like, like a big no-no. Okay, I get out. You're just disrupting at this point. I get out. You're just... Okay, so let me give you guys a quick rundown as to what we're doing today. Which you probably saw tight and you already know what it is. So check this out. Oh my gosh. Look at this big boy. I swear, things look bigger. Or you don't realize how big things really are until they're off your car. Look how big this is, dude. That's crazy. So we got big rotors from, I believe these rotors are from R1 Concepts and they're the drilled and slotted. This looks freaking just extra good. I know a lot of people paint this black so it doesn't rust, but I didn't have time to do that. And I actually did not buy them online. I bought them off a subscriber. Shout out to Charlie. I drove like an hour to get those. I filmed and my SD card broke in half. So I lost all the footage and so much other footage. I get us back. And of course, to go along with the big boy rotors, we got some Duraplast gold brake pads. Probably not the greatest, but it's gonna be pretty good. Ceramic brake pads, so there's not gonna be a lot of dust. We'll be good. You already know, it wouldn't be a Z video without some Z1 part. Not sponsored, by the way. And then from Z1, oh, so we got some big boy studs. We're going bigger studs in the back because we are indeed getting a bigger spacer for the rear of the 370Z. Right now, the wheel's a little bit too in, so there's a 10 mil, and you cannot run a 10 mil spacers because they don't come with their own individual studs. And if you use the OEM studs, it's gonna take up 10 mil of thread, which is a lot and very dangerous to drive on the road. But with that said, we got rotors, we got brake pads, we got spacers, and we got longer studs. Let's go ahead and install it. But of course, leave a like and subscribe. <laughs> go, 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 go. Oh Members, I think the, the, one of the last things we did here at this spot was installing the springs on the car oh, yeah. like two years ago, dude. <laughs> okay, let me show you guys the rotors we're working with. So, look at these, dude. These OEM rotors, no bueno, garbage. <laughs> Bruh, the disrespect, bro. They give you big ones up front and small ones in the back. You Brembo's in the front, but in the rear, just regular brakes. Bruh. Like, uh, I forgot how heavy these are. Look at these meatballs, dude. Sheesh. 305. These rotors, bro, look, look how rusty, dude. Look at this. Even rust, old studs. So I don't know if this is for the rear, but just look at the difference, dude. <laughs> This legit makes the car look like 30 years younger. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna do this now, just so we don't struggle later. Right. Hopefully this helps. PB Blaster's always the way. It is so windy, dude. <laughs> okay, so we are starting with the rear. I got everything laid out right here, dude. Look at me being all artsy and stuff. Let's go. Here we got the 10 mil spacers. Longer studs, which just look at the difference between the gold stud. Dude, we're, on, we're only gold out here, bro. What What is this? And then we got the big boy rotors. Also, let me show you guys real quick how the rotors go. So you want it to go, you want these drilled and slotted lines to break into the pad. Go facing this way for maximum efficiency. We're also starting with the rear just because we have so much more work in the rear. We got the studs and the spacers. Front is just take off the, take off the front rotor and then just put the new one back in. No, no spacers with the front because these are carbon fenders and I kind of just don't want to risk rubbing them on them and just breaking them and the fitment's right in the front but the rear, it's gonna be, it's gonna be extra minty. Hopefully the PB Blaster did wonders because I didn't do it last night. Uh, I might hit myself for not doing it. Basically, to take off the rotor, you gotta take off the caliper and to take off the caliper, you gotta take this big nut right here or big bolt right here. That doesn't look pretty wrong. Take this one out right here and then that one right there. And the caliper should come off. Voila. Did this just bend? Yeah, they do. No, this. Oh, no, that's how it is. What the heck? I was like, did this just bend taking out the pole? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that would be bad. <laughs> if things are about to get ugly, so I'm gonna jump into the GoPro. Oh, 
Easy peasy. Let's go, dude. These bolts ain't nothing, bro. Right? No, just need to be tight and I'll take it out. It's not broke. <sighs> Bruh. Are you gonna do the pass for it or are you gonna take the road? Oh my gosh. Okay, so I went to AutoZone yesterday and I was like, I need some brake pads for the 370Z. These are the 370Z brake packs we used to got for the rear. This is what AutoZone gave me. Like, what's good, bro? Dude, this looks like it belongs in my mom's freaking Santa Fe. And if you are wondering what car we're taking to AutoZone. <laughs> Recording, it's recording. It's recording. We're rolling. So we're gonna do them while it's on the car, just so if you guys can't relate with it off. So you're gonna find these little rods. There's one rod on the top side, one rod on the bottom side. They have like a little pin, which you gotta find. Huh? There you go. Right. Wait. Not focus. There you go. Right there. There's one of these down there. One of these at the top. Oh, that shut out. So after you take the two pins off, I have one of these things right here. Put it like in this side right there. Just tap it out. Because we gotta get the rods out. That's holding in the uh the brake pads. <laughs> it scratched my paint. There we go. Other pin out. After you take off these two, then just this two comes out. Cool is this? So these are both the brake pads and look at the rotor. That's so that's how it works, huh? Then you brake, squeezes. Mm -hmm. oh, that's sick. So we're gonna use the leverage of this old pad because the new one is gonna be thicker so we gotta push the piston all the way in. So we're gonna use this one to kind of like push the piston which is freaking hard, oh my gosh. Damn. Come on. One out. Well check this out, they're like completely just cracked. So we're gonna put a little bit of anti-freeze in the back side of it. Because this is how it goes on. So this is the back side where the piston hits it, the three piston or two piston or one piston brakes. And then the pad is the one that compresses against the uh, rotor. to the rear rotor so to take it out we basically just gotta hit it with a hammer and it should just come right off because we don't have we don't have the caliper on that's the only thing basically holding it on so let's get it what is different? oh my ears there you go there you go yeah! Wow! Let's go! This my ear. And if you don't like hammer, there's another really cool trick where if you get like a third well at least this one's a 13 mil, you can put in this little slot right here. Sadly it's only for the front, and then you put it right there, and you're gonna tighten it up. And the rotor just comes off. Just like that. <laughs> uh. Alright, next up studs. To take off a of studs, there's a very scientific way of doing it. And numero cinco. No! I feel defeated! Okay, so here's the dealio. To install the extended studs in the front is very simple because they give you like a little gap right here on the side so you can where you can take this one out easily and you can put a longer one in. But in the rear, in the rear, in the rear, there's actually literally no way of putting the new stud in from any angle. I'm gonna keep trying, but we're gonna have to end up taking out the wheel hub, which, if you guys don't know, this little, this little big old thing right here, that takes forever to take off. Fingers crossed it doesn't happen to us. Alex said he got it. This is gonna slow us down a lot. I believe in, I believe in you, Alex, you got this, you got this. Just look at that Tommy, bro. Dude, dude are you a Tommy? Are you, are you the Tommy, my friend? Are you the Tommy? Wait, no, wait, no, wait. What? What? Dude, Alex, the guy, dude, he got it out. He actually got it on like what? What was that, like 10 minutes? 20 minutes. Dude, so many people struggle with that. Now we gotta see how to do it. I don't think they got a good image from the back, but the bolts you were talking about, it's these four right here, right? Yeah, those four right so those here. four bolts from the rear, which are 17 mils, and then you gotta take out this one that's in the front, which, how big is this one? Voila. Oh, the brick almost fell. Is this a full on how to video? Absolutely not. Am I helping you guys? Yes. Do you have to use your smart particles like we did? 
Yes. It's time for the studs. As you can see, we, did, we already did the first one right here. We're doing a different way that I kind of didn't want to do, but it works perfectly. You guys are going to see. And it includes more hammering. Dude, we've been hammering this whole video. <laughs> Basically, find a socket that you don't need, put it up against a stud. And this is basically how it should look, or it has to look at the end. Just make sure it's all flush. Now we gotta do that one, two, three. And then we gotta do it five more times over there. We did it, we did it. You just brake cleaner and then you just scrubbed it? You brake cleaner. Yeah, let rag. me see. Just clean a little. Rag? Jeez, dude, this is like brand new from Nissan. Look good. We put the Z1 over here at the toolbox. That looks really cool. Yeah, it does. But check this out, dude. It's all about the detail, boys. No one's gonna see this, but just you guys knowing and me knowing that it's this clean. We're gonna clean this one up a little bit more, right? Yeah. All right, probably will. Well, look at this, dude. We got the gold extended studs. Actually, let me bring the other one. Hold on. You can get an idea. It's about almost double the size of the OEM one, which is really good. I can probably go bigger than an 11 mil or 10 mil spacers, which is what we're gonna do today. But check that out, dude, check that out. All right, so first thing you wanna do, which I didn't know you should do, these anti-seize on this right here. Not too much, but then again, not too little. The sir, and the extension if you need it. Yeah, this is definitely something you wanna do with two people, right? Oh yeah. There we go. There you go. Yes, sir. Next up, the best part of it all, the rotors. <laughs> oh my god, just look at it. That's so freaking good. I'm in love, dude. I'm in love once again. <laughs> like, just compare this. All right, keep this in mind, right? And then compare this to this. Just no, this is a big no. Like, like a big no-no. Hold on, hold on, we even got the middle not glistening. Look at this, look at this. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. And if you have these, which came with the wheels, bam, just right over there, fit it snug, all good up in there. Now we're gonna do the pads, which I already showed you guys how to do, and put everything back together, bada bing, bada boom. Almost forgot, we do gotta put this little pin that goes through the nut that we just tightened up right here. So you put this through here and then you, Twist it. Oh my gosh, this is looking so good. We got already we already got this side, this side. This side as well. We still gotta finish off the driver's side, but I don't think I'm gonna show you guys that. You already know how to do it. I'm gonna show you guys the final product, how it looks, how it's gonna turn out. Woo, so excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This video gets a thousand likes. Type R against 370Z. Let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> oh my god, there's a B. Why is there always B when I'm filming? Yo, look at that, dude. Oh my gosh. This is this is incredible. It's so good. Dude, how, how, how? Is that a Lambo? That sounded like a Lambo. That thing's clear, bro. <laughs> But you know, I wish things were as smooth as you saw in this video because when we we're all done, something really, really, really bad happened. Well, boys, everything was going great, but we got a bad case of spinning lug nuts. Why? I'll tell you why. Spinning studs with a stuck lug nut on it. I honestly thought it was all over. How it happened was, and I, sh I should have tested it out, it's all my fault, but I'm gonna show you. Since the studs are the size of the OEM ones, and these lug nuts, don't have like an opening at the top. The stud literally, when we're trying to uh, screw it in and tighten it up, it was penetrating right there. You can see it was literally penetrating through the lug nut. So, thank god, all four lug nuts came out. But there was this one that got literally attached, it, it became one with the stud, and we couldn't get this out. But we did first idea from Alex drill the lug nut. That didn't really work, or we just didn't know what to do with a drilled lug nut. But then I had an Among Us 900 IQ play. Take off all the four lug nuts that we had at the bottom. So we actually found replacement lug nuts that would work. So the only mission was take off this old, bad, just ruined lug nut. We put the wheel, we grabbed it, and we pressed it against the lug nut. 
and then Alex slowly started just drilling it out, or not drilling it, like taking out with a socket, slowly, slowly, and I'm not sure I, was, I kept tension at all times, just so the wheel was compressed against the stud and the lug nut so it couldn't just wiggle around. And that's how we were able to take it out, thank God, because I've seen some videos on it. And what they do to their wheels to take off the, the lug nut is horrific. So thank you for not having me do that. You can see right there, they have an opening for the stud to come through. But the lug nuts that I had did not have an opening, so yeah. A little review of the brakes. All right, let's do a quick brake test right here. Sounds pretty damn good, like extremely good. <laughs> brakes are really good. I thought since I went with AutoZone, uh, whatever gold, they were gonna be bad, but yo, this thing breaks like never before. But yeah, quick review, I like them. They feel really good, much better than before. A thousand times better than before. And we chill it. But other than that little mishap that almost ruined our night, everything went really well. And I always wanna touch on something. I, I nailed it on the fitment. I absolutely nailed it on the 10 millimeter spacer for the rear. The fitment looks so freaking good. Super proud of it. When the car was jacked up and I put the 10 mil spacers, it looked very odd and I was like really scared, but the 10 mil was the way to go. It completely just changes the look of the car. Just like little details, well not even little details, but just details like this just take off the, all the imperfections that the car had and just makes it look that much more perfect and that much more cleaner and just gives it like that look where you can see the car's been taken care of. Like I honestly just can't believe I didn't do this beforehand. Ugh, the car looks so good. If you're new here, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. I hope this video helped and it was fun to watch. I tried to do like a mixture of like fun, but also informative and not too informative because I know a lot of you pretty much get the gist of it. And I'm not gonna lie, sometimes too informative, it's kind of boring. I always, always, always try to make the type of videos I like to watch. We did a pretty good damn job. Subscribe, leave a like, and as always, hasta luego.